Hey, what's happening, guys? Take a look at these two components. These are the electrolytic filter capacitors out of my mid 1960s Gibson Skylark amplifier. And, you know, we're in the process of restoring it. And this is just one of those things that, uh, it has to be done. Obviously, you can see they're leaking their, their fluids. So, I, I mean, I did test them. But if we take a look here, you can see this one is labeled a CDF 1005. It says red 20. That says megafarad. It's not 20 megafarad. Red 20. So, got out a meter. to lead up to the black and lead up to the red and we're getting 16 microfarad and falling so that's obviously bad even if the other one is good which it, I mean it kind of looked okay here but even if this one's good I mean Obviously, it's going to go bad soon enough. Yeah, it's just falling slower than the other one. So, you could replace these two capacitors with four standard little can electrolytics. You could replace them with, you know, a big can capacitor, which is what we're going to do here this one is made specifically for this purpose so it's not like a uh, a motor run capacitor or anything this is from uh jj groove tubes who make a, a lot of uh vintage uh vacuum tubes and you can see it's labeled here y x u and o 40 20 20 20 it's uh, minus 10 percent to plus 30 percent at 500 volts and we have five terminals here. This one with the uh, the negative sign is obviously the the ground. And we're, we'll install that into the amplifier. What I wanted to do was see if we couldn't get inside of one of these. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. Take a look at what's going on here. I've never opened one of these up, so I do not know what to expect. I mean, I, I, I know what I ex I know what I expect. I expect uh, wines of some sort of coated paper material with a dielectric material between them. Oh my! So this is like an outer outer. Oh, okay. So the capacitors are in layers. I, I don't know why I did not expect that, but I didn't. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They're gone. That electrolyte is just falling out of there. But yeah, check it out. So they're in layers. Oh, this is cool. Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig further down. All right, this is this is pretty interesting. So underneath this cardboard shell is some sort of a uh, an epoxy, and then you can clearly see underneath the epoxy. Which is just cracking off. That actually looks like a an, some sort of end cap here. 
yeah, that's an epoxy end cap. And that underneath, yep, there we go. And then we get down to the actual layer of the capacitor, the paper, and the foil. Because what is a capacitor? It is two plates, two conductor, two conducting plates separated by a dielectric. And that's what we have here. Our one plate, second plate. And these uh, separator papers at one time were soaked with an electrolytic. Probably should not even be breathing this. Wow, I mean, that is, that is like forbidden toffee. But yeah, here, if we can get down inside of here, you can see exactly what is going on. There we go. Let's uh, come in here and we can get a better look. See the many, many layers. How do you increase capacitance? Well, it's a complicated formula, but it has to do with the area of the conductors and the distance between them, the separation, and the permeability of the dielectric. But So how do you add more capacitance? More layers is the easiest way to do it. And, you, know, you can see them all there. That's what a uh, almost 60-year-old electrolytic capacitor looks like after some time now the idea from this video came from my dear friend and longtime viewer of the channel b blood the florida man himself he goes why don't you tear one of them old capacitors apart and show everybody what they look like well all right we've done it we've done it barry here's what they look like on the inside So those are obviously no, no more. And I'm not making fun of them because in the mid sixties, this was the height of technology. Just as in the seventies, this was the height of technology. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing new and highly technical about this. The only, the only thing is, you know, this is a very niche product. So they are expensive. This is a $20 capacitor. But uh, the four smaller electrolytic capacitors would probably be $10 a piece anyway. So probably am saving a little bit. And this just makes the insulation go a little bit easier. All right, guys. So there's the replacement. And let me show you where it's going to go. There is a little 3D printed... Uh, cradle for it to sit in that I made so it will sit right there and can be secured down with a zip tie so that will be the next step in the uh, <laughs> the re restoration of that amp if you wonder why I keep screwing up with the camera up and down because it is the opposite of the way I expect it to be I'm used to the joysticks being like a uh, the stick in an airplane where I pull towards me to go up, but it's the opposite. It goes down. So it kind of confuses me, but uh, I'll get it sooner or later. Hope you guys are liking the gimbal. Pretty cool, I think. All right, that's all I got for you for today. If you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I have no idea why the camera just decided to rotate there. That was funny. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.